Hi folks, I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. This week we're test driving the 2014 Kia Cadenza. Now the Cadenza is a big deal, not only because it is a big car, but because only 20 years ago Kia came to America selling small economy cars. Now they're in the big leagues. Rich and creamy, mmm, mmm. That used to be an ocean reserve for Lexus, but Kia's new Cadenza cracks the code and brings a new level of perfection to the mid-sized luxury sedan segment. The new Cadenza is Kia's flagship model, starting out at about $35,000. It shares its chassis with the Hyundai Azera, which means it has front-wheel drive, a 293-horsepower 3.3-liter V6, and a smooth-shifting six-speed automatic transmission. It quickly became apparent to me that Kia closely studied cars like the Lexus ES350, the Lincoln MKS, and even perhaps the Acura RL. They took all the things that make these cars good and put them all together in one. The result is a car that comes across with a very upscale design, a near perfect level of features, and a driving behavior that really puts a smile on your face. The styling is not quite as daring as the smaller Kia Optima. Instead, it brings the Kia DNA into a more stately look that hints of the BMW 7 Series and silhouette. In fact, it really sits on the ground much like a rear-wheel drive car. The interior on the Cadenza is just really a case study in good design. Not only is it pleasing to the eye with rich wood grain trim, top quality switch gear, but it has one of the best laid out dash and cockpit designs I've seen in a very long time. Fit and finish, for example, are what you'd expect from Japan or Germany, and every little detail seems to flow together with design perfection. The leather seats are multi-adjustable, and the steering column power tilts and telescopes, all of which can be saved in memory quick sets. The Uvo Infinity Stereo Sound System sounded phenomenal. Its associated touchscreen display, navigation, and driver interface is second only to Lexus in how well it works and how easy it is to use. Kia makes this look so easy, it's a wonder why some car makers still struggle to do this right. Our Cadenza had the optional luxury package which gives both front and rear seat heaters, but only the driver gets a cooled seat. This is a Hyundai and Kia quirk that we hope someday they grow out of. I mean, how hard is it really to give both the driver and the passenger a cooled seat? The technology package included a number of driver assistance features like radar-based cruise control, blind spot warning, and lane departure warning just to name a few. We found, however, the radar cruise control worked well unless your freeway has mild curves in it where sometimes it tends to get a little surprised when you come around a curve and it realizes there's a car in front of it. It'll give you a little bit of an abrupt brake pedal. On the road, the Cadenza makes no promises to be a high-performance car, but rather gives you a luxury car ride with precise enough handling control to make it fun to drive when you prod it. It never feels heavy or sluggish, instead having a light touch that always rewards your inputs with a willing response. I'm glad to say that on a windy road, it loves to play and run up to a point. The suspension and the optional 19-inch wheels provide a firm enough platform to be sharp, but still gives a boulevard ride when cruising a town. The brakes are adequate, but do get warm and fade if you start treating the Cadenza like a BMW M3. Its 3.3-liter direct-injected V6 is a gem of a power plant with a nice sound and a smooth revving character. It never feels rough or thrashy like some V6s, and it's always happy to jump at the chance to give you thrust. Best of all, this engine is paired with a smooth shifting 6-speed automatic transmission which has a manual shift mode and paddle shifters on the steering wheel. An area where the Cadenza impressed is fuel economy. The EPA rates it at 19 miles to the gallon city, 28 miles to the gallon highway, and 22 miles to the gallon combined. In my week of testing, which included plenty of mountain romps, city driving, as well as freeway drives, I well exceeded this average with 26.7 miles to the gallon. Well folks, after spending a week with the 2014 Kia Cadenza, this auto journalist is a little bit embarrassed that I couldn't find really anything to complain about with this car. The fact of the matter is, it looks good, it drives well, it's fuel efficient, and it has plenty of power for its size. It offers a lot of value for its price, and I found very little that it did wrong. Therefore, we give it 5 out of 5 stars. This is Sam Haymart. I hope you enjoyed the ride. For a more detailed review and photo gallery, log on to gasmiler.com.